Okay, so the first screw is on tight, second screw is on. You can see a little bit of it leaked out while I took out that thing as usual. Uh, tighten it. And then I have to hold up the pliers. further like this just make sure that thing is tight so this bottle is removed for the next time I will ever want to do this again next year after yeah that's the business end of it you can see it's all green and it kind of comes with a cap but it's a loose cap so i'll just clean it off and then I'll leave it for next time <laughs> Anyway, so that's it for gear loop change. The next thing to do, instead of the oil, is to run the motor for about five minutes. Make sure nothing bad is happening. Make sure all your connections are okay. Make sure you've tightened everything correctly. Uh, let the motor settle down and check the oil level again once you've done the oil change. And that should be it. The next job is to basically fill the engine oil. And we have four stroke engine oil. You be careful that this little foil doesn't end up in the engine. Um, we also have these screws and the oil filter. Both of which we have to drizzle a little oil on before we put them on. So brand new oil filter. And this screw we have to drizzle the oil on. So a little bit of oil. On the filter, just a few drops. Coat the threads and a little bit on the screw. That's about it. And then that goes into the engine. Here we have the thing with a little bit of oil result on it. It goes straight into the engine. Make sure the threads catch properly. Threads are caught. I'll take a socket. Once again, this is a 5 8 socket, same as your spark plugs. Twist it around. Tight and just whacked a little bit of force to make sure it's really tight. And that's what's going to hold your oil in. Let's take the oil filter. Just a shade of oil, just a lot. has to catch the threads on this thing, so... Slid it on there, threads of quote. And once the threads have caught, it's really easy. Slides on. Clamping thing, 
oil filter wrench so no wires are caught on it and that's basically it now time to fill the oil in So, grab oil and move it to the filling area, which is this little thing out here, the filling thing. And since it actually takes one liter anyway, I'm going to pour the whole thing in without spilling anything. Cap goes on and the stick goes in. Cap goes on. The stick goes in. Pull the dipstick out to make sure the oil level is okay. And and that shows us the oil level is perfectly good. It covers at least two of the holes, so it's pretty good. That's it for adding engine oil. Finally I'm right just running it post service. Uh, RPM seem good. A40. So that's okay. It's running fine. So everything looks fine post uh, annual service and that's it.